Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at adding with algebra. Um, that includes obviously adding and subtracting with algebra. Another word that they can use often here is uh, simplify or when you're simplifying algebra, you are basically adding and subtracting terms together. Now, the biggest thing to remember here with this is basically you can only add together terms that are the same. That goes for add or subtract. So you can only add or subtract together terms that are the same. Okay, that's the big thing to remember here. And if you stick to that, then uh, the rest becomes quite straightforward. Okay, so take, let's take a look at an example. Say you have 3x plus 2x, okay? Because they're both x terms, we can add them together. And if you have three x's and you add two x's, together we will get five x's. So that's your answer to that one. Okay, let's try the next one. Now, if you feel confident, press pause and try this yourself. Otherwise, listen now and I'll explain it. So, again, remembering our little rule of thumb, you can only add together terms that are the same. So here we have x terms and we have y terms, okay? Now, what I like to do now is I like to um, box off the terms that are the same um, and circle other terms that are the same. So since this is 5x, this can be added together with the 3x. Now watch what I'm doing here. I'm including that sign to the left when I box this off, okay? Now that's really important, okay? Because that's gonna tell you what to do with that 3x. So make sure you include the sign to the left. When there's not a sign to the left, it's always positive, okay? So they're the terms that are the same. So the other terms are the same. I'm gonna do something different here. I'm gonna circle these ones. And again, watch, I'm including the sign to the left. The y terms then can be added together separately, okay? So your final answer is gonna be adding your 5x with your 3x, 5x's and 3x's all together will give you 8x's, and 6y's add another 4y's, all positive, 6y's and 4y's together will make 10y, and it would be a positive 10y, okay? So that's why we put a plus in between the two of them and that is your final answer okay try this question now press pause and uh, see how far you can get with this one yourself so I'm going to box off my x terms here and again make sure to include the sign to the left uh, so that's an x term so I have three x terms here I have seven x's and two x's and an x and that basically means there's one X there, okay? We often don't put the one in front because an X on its own is the same as just one X. So let's add that together. Seven X's, add two X's, that's nine X's all together. Add another X, that's gonna be 10 X. And now let's have a look at the Y's. Then we've got five Y, remember to include that sign to the left, and two Y. So five Y added to two Y, a plus five and a plus two, basically, the number work on that is plus seven y. It's a positive seven y, okay? If you think of it as a number line, you're up at five, you're adding on two, you're up at plus seven on the number line, okay? So you've got to put the plus in front of it. So 10x plus seven y is the final answer. Okay, now try this question, press pause, see how far you get with this. Okay, so this time I have eight x's here, now, I have minus 2x here. Make sure you include that minus in your box. So this is the first time we're dealing with a subtract um, or a minus term, okay? Now, that just means you've got 8x's and you're taking away 2x's, okay? So the number work on that is 8 take away 2. And what is 8 take away 2? It is, of course, 6. So if you have 8x's and you're taking away 2x's, you're left with 6x's and then you have a plus 5y and a plus 3y. So plus five and plus three. Uh, the number work on that, of course, is five add three is a positive eight. And so therefore it's a positive eight y is the answer. Okay, now press pause and see how you get on with this one. Now, what you have to be very careful here we have an x squared term as well as x terms, 
okay? But x squared terms are not the same as x terms, okay? That's very important to note. They are different, they look different, it's not the same. x terms is not the same as x squared, okay? So, I'm just going to box my x terms first, and I have a plus 6x and a minus 5x, okay? Then my y terms I'm going to uh, circle like before, all right, and again, include the sign to the left. So I have a plus 3y and a plus 4y. And that 2x squared is on its own. Um, there's no other x squareds here, which means that there's nothing else that I can add to that 2x squared, which means it's just gonna stay exactly like that in the answer. Okay, you can only add together terms that are the same and there's no other x squared terms, which means that will just stay as it is. Now let's do the x terms. So I have six x's and you're taking away five x's that leaves you with one x or just an x. And it's a positive x. When you get six take away one, sorry, six take away five, you end up with one. You don't end up with a minus one, you end up with a positive one, okay? So you can put the one in there if you like, but we tend to write uh, one x is just x. And then you've plus 3y plus 4y. So 3y's added to 4y's together will give you a positive 7y. So that's your answer to this one. Okay, pause the video and try this one. Okay, so here I have um, a 2x and I have a 4x. Okay, so I'm actually gonna do that first. So two X's um, added to four X's, that is going to be six X's altogether. Then I have eight Y minus five Y minus six Y. Now, if it starts to get a little bit more complicated with the number work, okay, and this is where a lot of pupils often make mistakes, when we start getting into nastier negative numbers, okay, pupils tend to make errors here. Uh, and what I want to say to you as a little tip, don't be afraid to do the number work on the calculator. Obviously, we can't put the Y's in, but you can double check your number work on the calculator, okay? And I would prefer you to do that than make a mistake with your negative numbers. So you have eight Y's, take away five Y's, take away six Y's. So the number work on that is eight, subtract five, subtract six, which is a negative three, which means that it's gonna be a minus three, and of course we're adding together Y's, so it's a minus three Y. Okay, pause the video and try this one. So here we have nine X's minus two x's and you have a minus three y minus two y all right this one's straightforward enough nine x take away two x is just nine take away two so if you have nine x's and you're taking away two x's you're going to get seven x's now minus three y minus two y well i'm going to put that in the calculator so minus three i'm going to put in like that near negative three and then take away two y right so just to double check, because you're on a number line, if you think about it, you're down at three on the number line and you're taking away two, which means you're gonna go further down the number line. So you're gonna be actually at minus five. So again, if the number work is tripping you up a little bit, double check it on the calculator. So that was the Y terms, which means I've got minus five Y. Okay, pause the video and try this one. So again, I've got a 3x squared here and I've no other x squared terms to add it to. So I'm gonna leave it as 3x squared in my answer. Then I've got minus 4x minus 2x. So I'm gonna double check that on my calculator. Minus four, take away two. And that of course is a minus six. They were my x terms, so it's minus six x. And then you have a plus two y minus five y. So let me just double check that, a positive two, Take away five is of course minus three, and they're the y terms, so it's minus three y. Okay, pause the video, try this one. 
So this time we're dealing with P's and W's. So I'm going to box my P terms. Remember always to box the sign to the left. Uh, and I'm going to circle the W terms. And again, I'm circling and including the sign to the left. That's very important. So now the P terms is 8P minus 10P. <clears throat> so 8 take away 10 is a minus 2. So that's my P terms is minus 2P. Then 2W plus 5, sorry, 2W plus 3W minus 7W is 2 plus 3 minus 7 is a, a negative 2. So there my W's is minus 2W. So all negatives in my answer here. Okay, second last question. Press pause and see how you get on with this one. Okay, so I have X terms here and I have X terms here. And I have another x term here. And then I have an x squared term, which of course is different, and another x squared term. Okay, so let's have a look at the x terms first. You have four x's and nine x's minus 10 x's. So four add nine minus 10. So my x terms, there's three of them. Okay, so three x's. Then you've got minus x squared, which again is the same as minus 1. Okay, watch out for that. That's what that's equal to. Uh, it, there's only one of them, but it's a negative, of course. So minus 1x squared minus 4x squared. So I'm going to put that in as negative 1, take away 4, and that's minus 5. So my x squared terms is minus 5x squared. Now, I just want you to note here, it doesn't matter if you did the x squared terms first and you had minus 5x squared and a positive 3x. They are both equal. It doesn't matter the order you write them in as long as you have the correct sign to the left of the term. And remember, that was a positive 3, so make sure you've got a plus 3x here. That's a negative 5x squared, so make sure you have that here. Okay, last question. Press pause and try this one. And so the S terms I have, I've got three S's minus five S's. So three take away five is minus two S's altogether. And then you've got two T minus six T and a T, okay? Which is like add one. All right, so I've got two take away six and add on another T. So that is giving me a minus three T altogether. Remember, you can just do the number work on the calculator. Don't forget to put the T in at the end.